Hi and welcome back. My name is Julianne Cost and in this video I'm going to demonstrate my third favorite feature in the Lightroom 5 Beta, the new Upright feature, which is going to help us automatically fix common problems such as tilted horizons as well as converging verticals in buildings. Basically it's going to help us straighten our pictures automatically. This new feature can be found in the Lens Correction panel underneath the new Basic tab. The first thing to notice is that at the top of the basic panel are the options to enable profile corrections and remove chromatic aberration. They're included on the basic tab to encourage us to apply them when using upright because the math will be more accurate with both of them enabled. The first image simply needs to have its horizon straightened. At first glance I thought that it was straight, but if I go under the view menu and then choose Loop Overlay, you can see that I have a new option to show a grid. Now I can see that I was off a bit. Clicking the Level Mode will automatically fix this tilt. As we can see, the result is similar to using the Crop or Straighten tool, but I don't have to do it myself. Upright figures it out for me based on studying the image content. And this is exactly what the Level Mode is supposed to do. It's just supposed to help me fix those tilted horizons. So let's move to the next image. Here we can see the typical keystoning effect in the buildings. I'll start by enabling both the profile corrections and the remove chromatic aberration. In this case the image might need to be leveled but I don't need to start with a level mode. If I choose the vertical mode the upright will automatically level as well as correct vertical perspective in my image. As we can see, upright has done a tremendous job of straightening the buildings all automatically. But let's turn off the overlay using the keyboard shortcut Option Command O or Alt Command O on Windows. As we can see, the buildings are perfectly straight and sometimes this is going to be exactly what we want but other times we might be looking for a bit more of a balanced correction to the image. That's what the auto mode is for. Generally, auto tries to level the image and fix the converging horizontal and vertical lines, but it's more conservative. It's as if it's respecting my sense of perspective. So most of the time this mode will look more realistic, but the converging lines in the image might not be exactly parallel. In fact, if we turn back on the overlay, we can see that in fact they're not. If you hold down the command or the control key while you've got the overlay up, you'll notice that you can change the size of the grid overlay, and you can also change the opacity of the grid overlay. All I'm doing is clicking and dragging my mouse either to the left to decrease or to the right to increase. Now, let's turn that off for a moment because I want to also show you the option to constrain crop. As soon as I select this, Lightroom will automatically crop the image based on the transformation that Upright did. If I tap the R key, we can see that crop, and of course I can always go in after the fact and refine that crop. With this next image, it might be more important to make sure that all of the lines are parallel, so let's see what the different modes do. First, we'll enable the corrections, and then I'll choose Auto. Auto does a good job, but we can see that it's not forcing anything. If we look over here on the right-hand side, we can see that there's still a little bit of perspective that could be refined. When I choose the Vertical option, we can see that a much more drastic correction has been made, and if I choose to constrain the crop, we can see that this line is much more vertical. Now, moving to this next image, we can see that we're going to need to make a much more drastic correction. And in fact, not even applying vertical is enough. In this case, we want to use the final option, Full. Full is going to apply a full 3D correction to the image. It's going to level the image and fix converging horizontals and verticals, even if it involves an extremely strong correction and or a large rotation. Now, we should take just a minute to talk about applying upright to multiple unrelated images at one time. If I select two images and turn on the option to auto sync, I can choose to enable the first two options, 
But then when I select one of the upright modes, Lightroom is actually going to go in and analyze each one of the images individually. So we can see that the transformation that was applied to this first image is different from the transformation that was applied to the second one. If you prefer not to use AutoSync and instead you select a single image and apply an upright mode, you can then select multiple images and when you click the sync option, you'll want to make sure that you enable the upright mode. Likewise, if you're creating a preset, you would probably want to choose upright mode. This way, each image is analyzed independently and has its own corrections applied. I'm sure you can see how this would make upright an extremely powerful batch processing tool. But there might be other times when you actually want the same numeric transformations applied to each image. This type of syncing is useful when batch processing a bracketed set of images, like a sequence intended for HDR or merging a time lapse sequence. So in this scenario, I'll enable the profile corrections and the chromatic aberration, and I'll also choose auto. Now when I select the other images in this sequence and I choose sync, I want Lightroom to actually sync the upright transformations. I don't want to run the upright analysis on each individual image because due to its robustness, upright is very likely to return a slightly different result on each of the images in the set. By applying the upright transformations, I will give each one of the images the exact same correction so that they will properly align when merged into one image. The manual controls under the Lens Correction panel still remain useful in a variety of different situations. In many cases, Upright should produce a very good starting point, and then users can use the manual settings to tweak the results. There's also a new aspect slider in the manual area. Although not directly related to Upright, strong keystone corrections can often make images look a little unnatural. So, dragging the slider to the left should make the image appear a little shorter and wider. Dragging it to the right should make the image appear taller and narrower. And finally, three tips or suggestions. In general, Upright will work a little better on RAW files compared to non-RAW files because it can take advantage of more reliable metadata. If you have already rotated and cropped your images, Upright will actually reset the rotate and crop to display the maximum amount of image area remaining after an upright adjustment. And finally, any manual perspective corrections on existing images, so anything that you've changed here in the manual panel, will usually interfere with upright. So by default, they're going to be removed when an upright mode is applied. If you want to preserve those settings, you can hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows when choosing an upright correction, and upright will leave them applied. So there you have it, everything that you need to know about the new upright feature in Lightroom 5. Be sure to check it out and let us know what you think.